Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to make your own calculator using LabVIEW. In this first part, we'll learn how to make the user interface of a calculator. First of all, we'll use a cluster since uh, we'll require a lot of control. So first of all, we'll drag in a Boolean control and change the label, uh, starting with one and copy that so we'll have two of them and then copy them respectively as much as we want since we need 10 uh, different digits to be pressed uh, just like the physical calculator So we change the uh, labels for each of the controls. So similarly, we have to change the Boolean levels as well for the appearance purpose. Now once all our buttons has been completed, what we have to do is we have to hide the labels so that it will be visually much better for the user. Uh, now next thing is we also require the different uh, operations that have to be done on the numbers. Uh, next uh, type in all the labels for these operations uh, the first one will be the add second will be the subtract third will be the multiply and fourth will be division uh, similarly change the boolean labels as well uh, to represent uh, the relevant operation for example the addition button will have the plus sign subtraction will have minus and so on. Now let's uh, label the name of the cluster that will be our calculator user interface. Now what we have to understand is we have to put a button that we want to be the first value. For example in this case zero will come in the beginning. Uh, that will help us in the programming part as well. So let's insert all the buttons in order so basically 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And after that, I will add the add button on the top. Uh, on the side will be the subtract first. I will also hide all the labels as we do not require in the user interface as the Boolean text already represents the operation. After that, uh, what we'll do is we'll add two more controls that will be for the result uh, that will have the equal to sign and finally the another one will be the clear button so that in case we want to cancel or clear the operation so that will be clear we'll write clr and then put them into the respective position as we find them in the actual physical calculator so we put them over there and now what we have to do is since this is the user interface we have to nicely arrange them so that it will be much more easier to use the application so arrange them nicely Point them all there, side by side. Make it visually appealing. And similarly, we will arrange the other controls as well. Now our controls are in order. Next, what we'll do is we'll right click into the cluster and then do the fit to size. 
that will help us to arrange all the controls much more better. Uh, next, after we have grouped all the controls, we also require the display for the calculator. For that one, we'll use the string indicator. So change the name of the label of the uh, display as well into the calculator display. Now next, uh, put that uh, next to the control. We will be coding for this user interface in the next video. Please like, share and comment on this video. And please subscribe to this channel for future lab videos. Thank you very much.